Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shubhas Dad, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, starting a bit of a, a, bit of a, a, bit of a kind of side series, a bit of a side hustle, no, a bit of a side series uh, around Nerdio. So, um, uh, historically I've always been a, a big big follower of Nerdio and I've uh, kind of, um, on its uh, sort of early days, I, I did a lot of content around it. And um, because I, I, within my within the jobs that I was doing, both when I worked at Net Company and Stable, I just didn't have enough exposure to it. So I kind of stopped doing a lot of content around it. And I always thought when I joined Cubasys, I will start doing more content around it because I'll have more exposure. And that's exactly what's happened. So um, we'll start a little mini series. It's going to be an ongoing series. This doesn't really have a date on it. Um, where I'm just going to be covering content around Nerdio because I, I love the product. If I'm honest, um, it has massive inter obviously it's massive integration with AVD and the Azure infrastructure and ecosystem. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting. And it, it, since I've last done any content, they, they, they've had so many different advances and releases. Um, so today's episode, I'm basically just going to be, be talking about the most recent release, which was 7.1.0, I believe. Um, and just some of the some of the things, they've, some of the features that have come out, but also just giving you an introduction to what you can expect coming up from from my Nerdio content. It's all going to be very high level content. There'll be some deep dive, but it's going to be demo focused as well. So I'm not going to be doing this one's just going just looking at the, the what's you know the release notes and having a look at and talking about what's been released, but also the upcoming videos. I want to actually do some just just demos around it and I'll explain my my how i'm going to go about doing that um, later on in this video so um let's take a look at what the latest release notes say then so this was something that came out um it was released uh the, the actual first iteration of it was released on the uh, 16th of june so it's been uh, about three weeks um but also there's been <clears throat> subsequent hot fixes as well so this is just on the nerdio website i'll put the link in the description below and you can you can go check this out for yourself um, but there's been been quite a few, and we'll go look at the resolved issues in a minute, shortly. But I just wanted to have actually have a look at what the um, features are. So um, one of the biggest ones um, that was kind of talked about was the console connect, uh, which is obviously multi-region. So being able to essentially connect to a user session, um, and this is something that I will I will uh, look at within some of my some of my some of my demo videos moving forward. So this is obviously a big one, as I mentioned, and it's it's been able to just connect to um, again multi. It's a multi-region um, release as well. So you, now we have the EU region has been added to the console connect alongside the US, um, and there's more regions that are going to be coming. But console connectors, as I know at, at Cubasys, I know the support team love love the console connect feature. Um, just being able to connect to a session, the, the session that the user's actually using. And that's always been an issue with, with the VDI in general, um, without sort of third party tools. So this is a very, very cool feature. Um, and again, they've released some, some, some RBAC roles as well around that. So these are now better aligned. And again, um, you can just, you can essentially add role definitions a bit more custom. Uh, so again, we can have a look at, I'll, I'll be taking a look at this moving forward in some of my videos as well. Uh, there was an enhancement to the Nerdio modeler as well in this version. So there was some uh, looking at granular administrative costs. Uh, the modeler tool is now able to provide you with granular control over a range of administrative costs, which is really cool. So we just look at this image here. Um, it's going to allow you to basically more accurately model your deployments, which is really cool as well. So you can do looking at monthly management and optimization tasks, looking at manage, monitor, and maintain, maintain Intune devices, set up, configure AVD auto scale. So it basically um, compares how long that's going to take you uh, without Nerdio and with Nerdio, which I think is so cool because again, it's going to allow you to compare the benefits. Because when, you, when again, since I've since I've come to Cubasys, obviously working a lot more closely with Nerdio, Cubasys are one of the top three. I think we got we got to the top three um, partners in in the world, which is huge. I'm obviously with the biggest partner in APAC. Um, a lot of the conversations you have with customers is around the benefits of Nerdio and why, why should why should they spend on the licensing? Where what's going to benefit them? And it is around the amount of time it takes. Like management is one of the big keys here, and and managing your your AVD environment through Nerdio just saves you. I mean, look at some of the just look at the differences here, you know, with the maintaining Intune devices and apps and policies. Without Nerdio, ten hours, two point five. That that in itself, it's difficult to quantify that in a monetary sense, but Think of it as man hours, right? You know, if it costs you, 
I'm just going to put a random, cost you $100 per hour, for example, for, for a person and for them doing their work. You, you've saved, what, what 7.5 hours there? So that's like 750. That, that's how I think businesses need to think of it. From a money, If you want to go, put into monetary perspective, the amount of man hours people are spending in your admin team. I mean, the other way of thinking is that you know, they're spending less time managing, more time on, on the user and user experience and um, enhancing other areas of, of the IT infrastructure. So I think being able to, having more of those granular administrative costs in the modeler tool is a, is a huge benefit. Um, and I can just see that that being used a lot. I can see us at Cubes is using this quite a bit as well. When we're having those conversations with customers. Um, Intune is a massive, massive piece. And I was having a, a, a talk with a customer recently, one of my first interactions with a customer in, in, since I've joined Cube Assist around the Intune element. And they, they, they have an, this customer specifically has an, AV, an existing AVD tenant um, and, and they use Intune to, to manage it. And, and obviously we we're talking to them about Nerdio. Um, so being able to, you know, Intune integrating with Nerdio is a huge, huge, huge enhancement and benefit. Um, so here we've made, they've made some Intune Insight enhancements here. So you can get increased device scalability. It's going to spoke to 120k endpoints, which is huge. So from an enterprise perspective, this is massive. Uh, it's got any support for dark mode. <laughs> so it's funny, we, I saw a kind of dark mode for the first time at the um, it was an enterprise partnering uh, engagement um, event recently in Australia. So I went to that and, and we're looking at dark mode. There's a lot of discussion around it. It's quite funny. Um, so yeah, so Intune is going to be a big part of what, we're looking, what I'm going to look at in some of our videos as well moving forward. Number five is the app fee support for AppAttach. So this is reduced application packaging overhead by uh, deploying uh, legacy app V packages uh, with the app uh, attachment V2 feature. So yeah, some, some enhancements there to app V support for AppAttach is great. And again, more AppAttach UI enhancements here as well. So the hostful applications app uh, attachment management page is now going to be enhanced to combine both V1 and V2 packages in a single UI. So again, it's not just about the technical features as well. What, what Nerdio are doing a lot of in their enhancements is, is trying to improve the user interface because, again, the, one of the things I remember, uh, the original kind of selling point of Nerdio was just being able to, to get anywhere within a couple of clicks, like two, three clicks. So I think the UI is massively important, the user interface, and, and uh, they keep on making these sort of enhancements just so it's less, <clears throat> less work for, for user admin to have to try and find stuff. So I think including both, for example, here, you've got V1 and V2 packaging a single UI uh, as opposed to a, a separate UI you know, page. So I think that's that's a very in, interesting enhancement and quite a useful one. Um, so again, we're going to be, uh, the, the whole unified management of, of applications, we're going to be looking at, I will be looking at that throughout my sort of videos coming up. So um, a lot to look forward to there. Uh, and this just shows the, uh, this just shows an example from the screenshot here. So you've got an app V2 and app V, uh, so app attach v1 package there in the same ui so that again you can sort those filter those as well as and when you need um so number seven we've got some again some unified application management enhancements here so customized intune groups so the naming convention for under it id groups is going to be created during app deployment via uh, uam this is now customizable so it's going to allow you to to follow your preferred naming conventions again naming conventions are so important when it comes to azure in general so i think um having some customizations around that and being able to use those is very very powerful as well um some more uh, in in tune integration this is policy change history one of the biggest kind of things around um, the Intune integration for me is being able to back up your, your Intune policies. So having a bit of uh, information around that change history and when policies have been updated and changed and, you know, which users edited them, I think is huge. Uh, so this is a really cool enhancement. Um, again, being able to see who, who has changed what um, in the policies. Again, it's good for auditing purposes, really. Uh, so as we go further down, again, further Intune integration here, but this is being able to filter by Entre ID group. So these might not seem like, <clears throat> like big things, but when you talk about management purpose, you know, being able to filter by the groups is, is quite, a, quite a decent enhancement. If, if you're someone who who day-to-day -day is managing um, Nerdio, things like this are, are really good and really interesting to see because, again, it's just helping you um, spend less time managing so you can, you know, you can filter on Entre ID groups. Um, so the all, the all devices view is going to now include that. Again, it's going to allow you to restrict your view to just devices with specified groups. Very, very powerful when it comes to um, kind of reporting and just trying to troubleshoot, I suppose. 
Uh, and then more Intune integrations, you can see that, that Nerdio are definitely spending more time on things like Intune and that integration and trying to enhance that. It's already very good, but they're trying to enhance it. So this is importing Intune application metadata. So when Intune write permissions can't be granted to the Nerdio manager application, which is quite common, you can now import Intune application metadata, including install and install commands. So you can then essentially ex export them from Nerdio and import them. Again, it's just going to help with the information that's available to you. Um, so this is this is for those scenarios where you know there's limited permissions to Intune. So again, the catering for different scenarios here, which I think is very very interesting. Again, more more Intune integration at number eleven. This is um, automatic assignment backups. This is a the the the, assignment, the backups of of policies and assignments is I think is massive uh, when it comes to Intune, and that was another. Um, Selling, not selling, but that's another kind of enhancement that the customer that I was talking to recently really, really liked the fact that you can back up your policies and see who's made those changes. Um, so you can now back up interim policy assignments during the manual or automatic policy backup, which I think is really, really cool. So there's a little tick box there. We'll be looking at that sort of again. We're going to be looking at Intune quite heavily as we go forward. Um, <clears throat> so we're from Intune now. We've got some Windows 365 alert enhancements in the latest release. So this is for cloud. PC frontliner uh, concurrency buffer alert. Uh, so this is quite a big, big update, I think. So you can configure an alert on the Nerdio Manager Cloud PC Alerts tab to notify you when an additional frontline license might be required. So again, kind of keeping an eye on uh, like kind of licensing and making sure that people on frontline don't have to wait for. So you put a buffer in place, you get a warning. Maybe say, for example, when you've got five left. Uh, so again, very, very powerful. I think that. Um, Reprovisioning enhancements for Windows 365. So you yeah, reprovision your Windows 365 frontline shared cloud PCs immediately or by schedule from the Nerdio console. Again, Windows 365 is a big push for Microsoft in general. So I think it's quite smart of Nerdio to actually put some more enhancements into that because Microsoft, it's, it's, whenever you kind of join a Microsoft call around VDI, um, you hear less of AVD and you hear more on Windows 365, which is fine. It's their kind of their benchmark product, which is cool. Um, and they're spending a lot of time on it. So I think it's smart to, to put more enhancements into this as well. Um, so again, a little screenshot there of what you can do. Again, we'll, we'll be looking at all this as I go through my demos. Um, as we go down more Windows 365 enhancements, you can apply policy SSO changes to existing desktops. You can now update single sign-on profiles on existing Windows 365 Cloud PCs to match the configured policy setting. Um, so Nerdio Manager GitHub support. You can now add GitHub repositories. So for those who have the sort of um, who store things in GitHub, might be might be your, 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 your kind of um, not your, your kind of uh, scripted actions and stuff like that. Uh, AVD insights again. New FS Logics tab has now been added, providing details about FS Logic profiles stored in Azure files. Again, just enhancing the the UI and the insights there. Very powerful. You can see their screenshot. Uh, disk performance tier, so you can now specify a performance tier when you're selecting the disk size within Nerdy OS disk drop downs. So again, big, uh, I think that's quite a really, really good update, especially when it comes to disk utilization. A bit of a screenshot there about how you can do it. Uh, AVD images, so you can now add additional uh, as your marketplace images via settings and marketplace. Again, this is more than just enhancing the sort of UI around AVD. Um, AVD hostful performance enhancements, so hostful pages now load faster in large environments. So that's obviously been something, I think a lot of what you find is when they do a lot of the updates are because customers are fed back that this is something is not working quite right. So this is, sounds like more of a customer enhancement. Someone will have uh, put a request in and that's kind of come through the, the channels and, and Nerdio are great at that. Um, hostful resource locks and so Nerdio now supports the additional or removal of Azure resource locks on session hosts, preventing deletion. So that's uh, that's quite a big one again. See a lot of customers putting resource locks on, uh, on, on, on resources and services. So that's a big one there, I think. Um, there's lots of updates, aren't there, in this one? It's obviously a big release. Another AVD one for hostful auto scaling and hostful scheduling as well. Uh, so again, TLS 1.3 support, that was going to be a big one because that's, that's, that's quite recently come out in, in general. So I think Nerdio Manager getting on top of that is, is good and it's out there. So you can deploy or upgrade Nerdio Manager Copilot and Intune Insights to TLS 1.3 to enhance security. Uh, Nerdio Manager security, so Nerdio Manager no longer requires uh, Azure owner RBAC permissions to resource deployment. I think that's massive because one thing you find, especially with customer environments, is trying to get, you know, to, asking for permissions and uh, owner permissions is always a, a, a very strange conversation. Like, hey, how come Nerdio needs owner permissions? So I think now no longer requiring that 
is huge. Um, and now it supports the least privileged model to align with best practices. So that's a, number 24 is a big one for me, especially when it's an awkward conversation with customers a lot of the time. Um, so there's a lot more Nerdio Manager UI, into, uh, there's a hostful assignments page, auto shrink update, um, and it resolves a lot of issues as well. Um, so as you go further up, it tells you about some of the fixed issues. Uh, let's go back to the top where it tells you there's, a, there's some sub releases now. So it's the current release is 7.1.2, which was a couple, about last week, I think that came out. Um, so it's resolved the Nerdio Manager, uh, resolved an issue about sustained high DTU percent utilization of the SQL database. This has resulted in, resulted in degrading performance. Um, and then the 1.1 as well, they, they kind of fix loads of issues as well. So um, got on top of that very quickly. Now, when it comes to my own content moving forward with Nerdio, I was looking around, I was thinking, what, what do I want to do? And again, I base my content on what I will find interesting. So this is the Nerdio knowledge base. I thought, wow, there's some really interesting topics here. So what I've decided to do is I'm actually just going to go through each of these aspects of the, the documentation and just put my own spin on it. So I'll start doing demos around the user interface overview, individual themes, storage, creating and managing configured as your file share. So I'm going to go through these um, and just, just do a whole kind of series. And I'll try to probably at least one video because I want to I want to try and integrate it with my uh, Azure Arc series that I'm doing another series. So I won't be doing probably once a week you'll see a Nerdio video from me. Um, so I'm going to be going through all these enhancements and all these technical documentation, but I'll be doing them in video form and I'll be doing them as a practical element. So there won't be any theory, just all going to be technical sort of demo of de demos. Um, and it's just because I, I found it interesting, really. And as you know, if you follow my, my, my channel, that's how I do my content. It's something that I find interesting, I, I will do, and hopefully it helps you as well. Um, so hopefully this has given you a bit of insight and I will next version release I'll, I'll do another video like this so whenever there's a version version release try and do a video about it to help you understand what's new and my own opinion of each feature and how you know the, the benefits of it I would say you know that that information is going to come from the way I work with customers and, and, and my feedback from customers as well because you know working with Nerdio and in that sort of AVD space so yeah there's going to be more videos hopefully next week will be the next my next video for, for nerdio and i'm going to do some some stuff around the ui as you saw uh, so thank you everybody for watching and until next time goodbye